Shadow, who aids the forces of law and order, is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. The hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's story, The Caverns of Death. Down there about an hour ago. We didn't find a thing. 
Here we are. This is the pit. I see it. That must be the place where the rim gave way. Uh, yes, ma'am, that's it. Broke off very evenly, didn't it? Yes, rocks do that sometimes. Mind I examine it? Well, you can't go near there. That's all then. Very well. Tell me, how did the searching party get into the pit? Rope ladder over on the other side. The bottom of the pit entirely covered by the pool. There's a wide ledge on one side. That's why the searching party went down over there. Wait for me up here, Margot. Where are you going? The bottom of the pit. That's pretty risky, going down there alone. Oh, but he's not going alone. Well, I'm not going with him. I know, I am. But, Margot. You, I'm going with you, Lamont. Well, if you've made up your mind, I know better than to argue with you. Here's the letter. What about these vapors, guys? Are they very hot? No, after you're down 20 feet, you'll be past them anyhow. Well, here we go. I'll lead the way. Careful when you start, Margot. These old ladders are tricky. Keep going, Lamont. I'm right behind you. I'll be a lot happier when you pass through these vapors. Yes, it's that... Oh! oh. What's the matter? I almost slipped. Here, Miss Margaret, be careful. Yes, I will. There. To the other vapors. How far is it to the bottom? I'll use my flashlight. Hmm. Under the way now, the ledge is directed below it. The voice is down strange down here. Hollow. I can see. That's what it is, Margo. There. On the ledge, easy now. Thank you, down. Thank you. Step. Step right. I know. That's how everything feels down here. I mean cold. Take a look around. Take those. Hold my hand. All right, Lamont. It's the pool. It looks so black and sinister. Yeah, it's easy to believe that it's bottomless. Now we start in this direction and circle the pool. All right. It's awfully dark down here. Lamont, did you hear that? Yes. Yes, I did. What was it? Don't know. It seems to be coming from the pool on our right. Who was there? There's that? no flashlight on it. No one answers. Look, Lamont. Someone's clinging to the edge of the pool. Oh. Come on, Margot. Lamont, do you suppose it could be one of the... We'll see. Take a light, Margot. I'll the water. Give it to me. Oh. All right, old man. Come on. There you are. Lamont, it is one of the students. I know it is. I, I've seen him around the village. Hey. I've got to get out. I've got to get out. Easy, take it easy. We'll get you out. What oh. about the others? Are they alive? Do you understand me? Are they alive? The railing's breaking. They're falling. Oh, I'm only 
a cook here, I tell you. I don't know nothing. Who is the man in the gas mask? Well, he's the boss. That's all I know. I never seen his face. Why does he wear the mask? Well, they always wear masks when they go to the lower level of the cabin. Lower level? Then there's more to the cabins than the public is viewed. Sure, that's where the... Hey, I told you I don't know nothing. You must realize that you will never leave this place alive unless I help you. And you help me. Well, maybe, maybe you're right. You know I am. Now, what about those boys? Are they alive or dead? I don't know. But when they fell, it wasn't no accident. Somewhere in the wall of that pit, there's a secret. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have. No. He's dead. Yes. And that, Mr. Shadow, is all that you're going to hear. I presume that you are the man they call the boss. That's right, Shadow. They're meeting on equal terms. Although I can't see you, I too am hidden. Safe behind this wall. What happened to those boys? That's my affair, Shadow. And I advise you to keep out of it. That dead man on the floor is proof that I mean business. I regard that as a challenge. From now on, it is war between us. I promise to save those young men and bring you and your gang to justice. <laughs> Not if we proceed carefully. Walk straight down the passageway. 
stay close to the wall. I'll be right beside you. Did you discover anything? No. No, I've been too concerned with finding you. Turn her out of here on the deck quickly. That's what they are. Quick. I find this rock. Don't move. Can't waste much more than I'm looking for. Yeah. You'll never find his way out. Well, let him go for now. There's something more important to look at. Okay. 
chamber is filled with a gas that destroys the willpower. In a few minutes, you will feel its effect, and we will be able to see you. I feel its effect. But before the gas destroys my will and my willpower, permitting you to see me, I shall have settled my score with you. But not your way. You may not know that this gas with which this mine is filled is also highly explosive. If I strike this match, these cabins will be blown to kingdom come. And blow yourself up with it? If I am pressed far enough, yes, that's just what I'll do. I... I advise you to put that match away. No, no. I am holding a revolver which is aimed at your head. You make one move, strike a light. I'll fire. <laughs> that seems to amuse you. You must think I'm pretty stupid. You know as well as I do that a pistol shot would ignite this gas as quickly as my match. Where? Yes, that stops you. Have you anything to say? Maybe the gas has got it. Maybe we'll see it. Yes, yes we can. Let go of it. I'll just relieve you of the matches. What's the matter, boss? Shut up. Took the matches. No. No, I demand that you open that door and let those young men out. Oh, no. Come on, boss. We're leaving here. Look out, boss. Look out behind you. He's got me. He's come to He's got a big axe. Any similarities to persons living or dead is purely coincidental.